Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your eighth HTML tutorial. In the last two tutorials, we talked about adding links to our web pages, uh, both external hyperlinks, meaning they're linking from your web page to another website, such as uh, google.com or maybe an affiliated website, whatever you want to link it to, and internal links, which link from a particular section of your website uh, to another section. So uh, you see these in use a lot on Wikipedia where you have a, a menu and then you want to jump it allows you to jump down to certain sections of the whole Wikipedia article because it's so big and uh, scrolling would take a little bit more time so um, in this tutorial I figured I'm going to change you I'm going to show you how rather how to change the hyperlink color on your web pages um, and just I'm going to show you right now what the default colors are so if we come over here and create a link we'll link it to google.com and we'll say google.com and we're going to make a second link and we're going to link this to we'll say yahoo.com and close that off yahoo.com all right and now uh, you'll see why i put two links in this uh, the reason why i put two links in a second but let's save that up here and come over here and refresh and you notice that both of these links right now are underlined uh, and are in blue so um, when, it, when it's underlined, it means it's a link, and uh, blue means that it's an active hyperlink. There are two types of hyperlinks, and um, uh, you've probably seen these before a lot. There's active hyperlinks, which means links that haven't yet been clicked on, um, and there's visited hyperlinks, and that means links that you've clicked on before, um, and you know, you've been to the website. So usually you'll notice that active hyperlinks appear blue, and um, even though I've been to google.com and yahoo.com, I cleared my browser's history and cookies. That way, uh, these links appear blue, um, just for the purposes of this tutorial. Um, so if we click on a website like google.com, it'll take us there, and then if we go back to uh, our page that we've been working on, you'll notice that Google becomes purple. Um, and the reason that it's purple is because it's visited. Um, so it changes from an active link in the HTML to a visited link, and your browser recognizes it as visited since you've been to it before. Uh, it has it in its history. So uh, google.com, your browser knows you've been to. Yahoo, though, we haven't yet been to. Uh, it's not yet in our history, so it's still considered an active link. Once we click on Yahoo, though, it'll turn uh, visited, and it'll take us to the Yahoo website. So we're going to learn how to change the color of both active and visited links. You can change them to whatever color you want, um, similar to using the font tag. And um, So let's go over here and take a look. Okay, so um, the way that we're going to change the link color is by adding an attribute, two attributes, actually, to the body tag of our web page. So um, just like adding an, an attribute to a font tag or a a hyperlink, we can uh, do that by going to the body tag here and adding a space. And um, there's two different attributes. There's an active link attribute and an and a, um, visited link attribute. And we're going to want to add them both. Um, though if your website you only want to change the link's color for one of them, you can do that. Um, works just fine. But for this tutorial, we're going to add both. So uh, let's get to it. So an active link is going to be a space link. You'll notice that the attribute here appears red just as it does. Uh, in the hyperlink below. So let's space that out here. And like any other attribute, it's going to equal something. Um, and again, you're going to have to have some quotation marks. These are important. Uh, otherwise, it might throw something off, especially if you're using other programming languages uh, that require it. So an active link is like that. And a visited link, the, the attribute for that, is v link equals, and then your quotation marks. And if you notice, there's supposed to be a space between active link and no space between visited link. So the a in the active link needs a space. I'm not sure exactly why that is. I tried it without, without the space and it didn't work, so um, it's important that you have the space there between A and active link. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to choose a color for our active link. And uh, Since we don't have any active links, let's add one in. Uh, we'll do that actually after. So uh, we're going to say that our active links are going to be, uh, we'll say black for the active link. And if a link's been clicked on, we're going to make it red. Um, just because to get away from our blue and purple. So if we save this right now and come on over here and refresh, you'll notice that both of the links on this web page here are red. And that's because we already clicked on them. They're both visited. Um, we just changed the color from purple to red, essentially. So um, let's add a link that we haven't been to yet. And uh, let's see here. What website should I add? How about YouTube.com? And if we come over here and we'll type in YouTube. And now the text that you have here doesn't matter. It's still going to appear either um, in the default case, it's going to appear either blue or purple. So it doesn't really matter what you have there. So 
let's go over here and uh, take a look. Save that up. You'll notice that because we haven't yet visited YouTube.com, uh, it's still black or active. So these two right here are visited and this one's active. So once we go ahead and click on the YouTube.com link and we go to the YouTube website, this link right here is going to become uh, visited and it's going to essentially change to the color red. So let's take a look at that. Uh, we click on that. And you'll notice that now we're on the YouTube website. We go back here and uh, it's red. So even if we refresh the page or go to the website again, it's still going to be red. And that's because we visited them. It's in the website's, uh, the browser's history. Um, so that's basically it. Um, you can change the colors onto this on anything you want. You can omit one. So let's say you want just the active links to be black. You can save it up. Come on over here. And you'll notice that these all turn back to the default color of purple. And likewise, you can have just the visited links a different color. Or you can have them both the same color. So let's say we want to have a, a website where everything is consistent throughout such as uh, if you have links to like a home page and a contact page and an about page and someone clicks on one of those links you don't want it to turn uh, purple or red or whatever color you set for a visited link um, just because the next time they come back to your website it's going to have a different color um, you can just do that and say black and both of the link colors are going to remain the same so uh, either if they're visited or active so it doesn't matter it just it it's uh I think it's a good idea to do this if you have a website and you just want to maintain the same look throughout, even if the user's clicked on a particular web page or link. So uh, this is this is it. This is uh, pretty simple. This is how you change the hyperlink color. Um, this also might work for the um, the internal hyperlinks. So if you on a Wikipedia article, for example, we'll type in HTML wiki, and I'll show you that real quick. Even in the Google search, you'll notice it turns purple. So. Um, if we come down here to our menu and we click on Origins, and we're here we're at the Origins section, we'll scroll back up, you'll notice that it turns purple, uh, and the rest of the links are blue, and that's because we've clicked on this, and it became visited in the uh, in the history of our browser. So it's just uh, something to keep track of, something to know, in case you ever want to change the color of the links. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for these tutorials, feel please feel free to send me a, an email on, using the contact page of technicalcafe.com, or post a comment, send me an at reply on Twitter, whatever you want to do. So thank you for watching this tutorial and please subscribe if you like them and have a nice day.